Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to be unboxing this old Apple iBook G4. Um, now, I've already partially unboxed it, um, just to get the bit with the address off, but that's about it. So let's have a look. So we've got the old user guide there, which is very sun bleached, I'm mad. An install disk. Hmm. Although that's install disk one, so hopefully there's another disk somewhere. Um, we have a plug here as well, with the old transformer and everything. And here is the juicy bit. The actual machine itself. So I'll put all of this stuff over here. Here is the actual machine. So this should be an interesting experience because I mainly buy computers that run Windows or Linux. I, well, this is the first Mac that I've ever actually brought. Um, so it should be interesting. Let's actually have a look at the unit itself. Excuse me if I don't know what some of the parts are, but I suppose that's the optical drive there. It's a really weird one because you just put the disc in and it's like... Um, almost like what cars have, because you put the disc in and then it inserts it by itself, it's quite interesting. I believe that's... I think that's a charge port there. And here yeah, the vents around the back. Two USB ports there, and dial-up modem, and LAN. Um, Ethernet rather. And a headphone output slot there. So, let's test my theory shall we, because I don't know if that is actually the charge port. Oh yes it is. Please excuse my phone. Yes that is the charge port. Right, so I'll just plug that in now and see what it's like. One thing I always have liked about these um, old Apple Macs, is, and I think the new ones do it as well actually, is uh, you plug it in and obviously it glows orange when it's charging the battery. And um, another thing as well is this keyboard is in very good condition, I mean ever so slightly sun bleached, but that doesn't really matter too much, put the fan away from the camera. Um, and one other thing, that fan before anyone complains, that is an absolute necessity. It is the British summertime. Us British are not used to this sort of weather. It is weird. <laughs> and we are all cooking and it's horrible. Um, so, let's do the juicy bit now and actually start it up. Oh, and suddenly the charger bits start to glow green. Got the nice apple bong as well. That's the one thing about Apple Macs um, that I've always found quite interesting, the fact that that bong has been in Apple Macs for a very long time. And I mean, Windows XP had a startup sound, so does Windows 95, 98. Every, virtually every single version of Windows has had a startup sound, but one thing I admire about Apple is their consistency. And they keep the same startup sound, but they update it to make it sound better. Right, so here we are at the actual desktop. Oh, none of your wireless networks have been found. No, poor neighbours don't want geriatric blooming iBooks connecting to their printer. Right. I mean, I, I'm not even sure how to use this because this is the first, uh, I think I mentioned this earlier actually, but it's the first um, Apple Mac that I've ever bought, so <laughs> it should be interesting anyway. And in a minute I'm going to attempt to reinstall 
OS X, which is actually quite fun. You know what? I got um, this little thing here with the install disk one, and I was thinking, oh no, there must be an install disk two somewhere. So I looked and looked, and there wasn't. And I was thinking, oh gosh, that means I'm going to have to contact Apple and beg them to send me uh, the second <laughs> install disk for uh, obviously OS X Tiger. Well, one thing that I did find was that there's two layers to this one. So we've got two disks, and to my luck, we've got a second install disk here. So, oh, I can't tell you the relief <laughs> that I experienced at that very moment. Right, so near the end of that video, quite a bit happened. Well, um, obviously the camera ran out of charge and then it got stuck on the second installation disc. I think that disc is slightly corrupt. Yeah, it has got a few scratches on the back of it. So um, what I did was I reinserted the first disc and held down C as it started up until I saw the Apple logo. After that, I waited until it um, came up with the installation process and right up until the port point where it came up with the install option there was also a customize option and if you don't if you can't use the second disc then deselect all of well what I did anyway was I deselected all of the optional components uh, that were there and um, then installed it and it didn't need the second disc so it's got to the desktop now and there are a few updates um, this one here looks rather interesting it's a Mac OS X update 10.4.11 ooh well that certainly does look interesting um, well it's basically fully functioning now and I'm going to install the 10.4 Fox browser um, because the Safari version that it's got on this is just terrible. So I might as well just go ahead and install these now and wait for it to install. Right, so after many, many updates, which I believe was actually the contents of disk 2, um, it's basically completely set up now. And I have a web browser which resembles the old fashioned Mozilla Firefox. Uh, this is called Tin4 Fox. A uh, very nice web browser, actually. As you can see, it strongly resembles the old. Um, Mozilla Firefox. I believe it's based on Mozilla Firefox 45, uh, which is quite old, but still works. <laughs> um, and there isn't really much need for any other applications. I've been playing around with Safari as well, and um, as you can imagine, it barely loads quite a few. Well, it loads some web pages. It even struggles to load Apple's home page. Well as you can see it loads the top banner but virtually nothing else. Um, and well, that's about it really, I mean there's not much else to show. Everything appears to be working properly and it appears to be up to date. Uh, there was an OS update, I believe it was, here we go. 
uh, it's updated to 10.4.11 um, and yeah so that's about it really I mean it all works pretty well so I believe that basically brings it to the end of the video today and um, so once again thank you all very much for watching today and I will be doing a demonstration on how to skip the disk 2 part of um, setup for Mac OS X Tiger um, and well as I say once again thank you all very much for watching today um, I will be doing a demo on this uh, web browser the 104 Fox in the future because it is very interesting um, and that basically brings it to the end of this video so if you would like to support my channel you can do so not by giving it any money but by simply subscribing to it as this gives me some more motivation to make future videos so I hope you all enjoy the rest of your morning, afternoon or evening and goodbye.